When I first heard Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, better known by his stage as Bad Bunny, I felt as though the very soul of Puerto Rico had come to life and sound. It's unusual for a voice to rise above the din of daily life and become the pulsation of a period in a world when sound is everywhere. But this is how Bad Bunny really is. Ella es calladita, pero por sexo atrevida, yo soy marihuana y bebida. This modest young guy would grow to reflect the spirit of a generation hungry for change, for representation, and for authenticity. He was born amid the cobblestone streets of Almirante Sur, Vega Baja. He is more than simply a Latin trap and reggaeton musician. He is a cultural phenomenon, a glimmer of optimism in a dark moment, and a representation of rebellious ingenuity in a field that frequently favors conformity over invention. Through the course of this story, we'll travel along the warm Puerto Rican shores, go into inspiration-filled, darkly lit studios, and stand next to throngs of people in packed stadiums in an effort to comprehend the mystery that is Bad Bunny. We'll explore the beats that helped him develop, the obstacles he had to overcome, and the revolution he unintentionally started. Get ready to be engrossed in the epic narrative of a child from Vega Baja who dared to confront the world with his voice and vision. In 1994, a star was born in the vivid colors of Almirante Sur in Vega Baja, Puerto Rico, Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio. The basic pleasures of a Puerto Rican upbringing, such as the air filled with the harmonic fusion of salsa and merengue, the passionate storytelling at family gatherings, and the rhythmic cadence of waves breaking against the shore, were what made his childhood memorable instead of grandiose fantasies of stardom. Through these formative encounters, young Benito developed a strong passion for music as well as an innate sense of rhythm and melody. Benito's life underwent a transformation as adolescence approached. The development of the internet and the democratization of music creation led to the emergence of a temporary studio in his bedroom. He was drawn into a creative vortex by the attractiveness of modern genres, especially reggaeton and Latin trap as raw lyrics that were influenced by his life experiences and a special fusion of traditional and modern rhythms spilled from his soul onto paper, nights changed into mornings. His platform was SoundCloud, where he first introduced the world to the Bad Bunny craze. Soy Pior was more than simply a song, it was a declaration, a genuine look into the mind of a budding artist who was struggling with love, identity, and ambition. When it was released in 2017, it struck a chord with listeners all over the world, apparently overnight making the SoundCloud phenomenon a household name. But despite how quickly he rose to fame, it took endless hours of hard work and a strong awareness of the constantly changing musical world. Collaborations soon followed as both Latin music heavyweights and international celebrities acknowledged Bad Bunny's unquestionable skill. It was obvious. A new age had begun, and a young man from Vega Baja was at the helm, prepared to change the face of music. The former SoundCloud artist, now delighted in working with the biggest names in music, whether in dimly lit recording rooms or thumping stadia. In addition to working together, J Balvin, Cardi B, and Drake were fellow visionaries who boosted the growing popularity of reggaeton and Latin trap. Work of art during this time period includes X100PRE and YHLQMDLG. The albums of Bad Bunny were more than just compilations of songs. They were complex musical tapestries that told stories of love, loss, and the human condition while retaining a strong Puerto Rican flavor. His voice stood out loud and steadfast in a world where famous people frequently avoid divisive topics. He developed became a devoted supporter of Puerto Rico, illuminating the island's complex connection with the United States and spreading awareness in times of emergency. However, his activism didn't end at the borders of his country. He advocated violence against women. The idea that an artist's ultimate power isn't simply in their capacity to entertain, but also to educate and drive societal change, was personified by Bad Bunny throughout his journey. Bad Bunny's legacy started to take shape not only in his music, but also in the cultural changes he instigated, even as the accolades flowed in and chart-topping achievements were attained. The Vega Baja boy had successfully merged cultural expectations. 
His bravery spurred the emergence of other artists who echoed his sincerity and artistic defiance. Bad Bunny's music not only had great hooks, but the world also absorbed a philosophy to be courageous in one's self-expression, to challenge the status quo, and to always, always stay true to oneself. Mm -hmm.